Okay, let's talk about acceleration. You've all heard about acceleration when you watch a car advertisement. This car goes zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. Well, they're really telling you how well that car accelerates. So acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, how quickly it can get from a low speed zero to a very high speed. Okay, um, so let's first look at the units because the units for acceleration can oftentimes be confusing. Okay, so we have the rate of change of velocity. So we have a final velocity minus an initial velocity over time. Okay, now remember a velocity is a unit like meters per second. It's a distance over time. So if you have a distance over time minus a distance over time, we end up with distance over time divided by time. So what we're going to do is we're going to move both of our time units down to the denominator and we're going to have a distance over time squared. Okay? So let's look at an example of how we could solve an acceleration problem. Okay? Like that car that was accelerating. How fast was that rate of acceleration? Okay? So let's say that car goes from 0 kilometers per hour to 100 kilometers per hour in 10 seconds. Okay? I need to take my final velocity, 100 kilometers an hour, minus my initial velocity, zero kilometers an hour. Remember to include your units. Sometimes you can get confused if you drop your units and you don't know what you're talking about. Okay? So we've got that over 10 seconds. Okay? Now notice I have seconds here and hours here. Uh, is that a problem? No, it's not. We can actually use units where we have hours, second hours, or hour seconds. Those are fine, okay? So when we solve that, 100 minus 0 is 100 divided by 10 equals 10 kilometers per hour second, okay? So that is our rate of acceleration, 10 kilometers per hour second. One final note about acceleration, remember we're talking about changes in velocity and velocity involves not only a distance over time, but a direction. So if we have going the same speed, but we're changing direction, our velocity is changing, and our acceleration will be accelerating as we go around a curve. So it's not just accelerating going straight, we can also, as we turn, keeping the same velocity, we can also accelerate even though our speed remains the same. And that's important to remember about acceleration.